Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little different, but if you guys haven't read the title already, it is how to get out of a slump. And I'm going to give you guys realistic steps to get out of that slump. It's okay, we all have been there. I was recently in a slump, so I know how it feels. And I've been in many slumps in my life and just know that it's so normal. No matter where you are in life, you could be in college, you could be in a career, you could just be in high school. Who knows, middle school, and you're probably in a slump. Before I start this video, let me remind you that yes, there are going to be down days where you're going to have late nights, where you're going to do late night studying, you're going to be tired, and there's going to be days where you do not want to do anything. Makes sense. We're human. That's bound to happen. But I'm just trying to help you to not stay in that um, slump for a long time. So if you would click this video, it's because you're either in a slump or you just love to watch me. So thank you guys for clicking on to this video. No, no, no. I've been thinking about you. Do you think about this day? Do you, do you? So I'm gonna talk about my recent slump. Um, I was in a slump in the beginning of college last weeks of summer. When I went into college, I was thinking, okay, I'm in college, I'm gonna be more motivated, I'm gonna get out of the slump. No, I was still in it. I would just catch myself constantly in my room and instead of searching for my homework or socializing, I would just be comfortable in my comfort space. So I made my dorm my own comfort space and I would just lay in bed, honestly rot in bed and I was on my phone scrolling and scrolling and scrolling away. I brought some of my old bad habits with me from high school which was procrastination that was a big one procrastination is not going to be your friend in college i think i probably explained that it's the worst thing you could do i will wait at the end of the day to do my homework because i could work under pressure like yes i can but that can mess up your sleep schedule and what happens if you don't sleep you get tired when you're tired you're lazy when you're lazy you're in a slump that's usually what happens when you're in a slump okay and we don't live in a world where you're gonna have a perfect routine you don't have to wake up at 5 a.m to go on a run and don't feel nothing because sometimes you won't get nothing out of that experience maybe you will maybe you won't i'm not telling you you need the perfect skin routine because what's a perfect skin routine with all these products if you're not eating healthy sleeping right none of those products matter if you're not taking taking care of yourself i began this journey um recently actually like two weeks ago and i'm already making a video on it because it has helped i've gotten out of slumps but i just fell back into it so i went to a meditation class and honestly it was life-changing like i'm being completely honest with you guys not the meditation itself more of what i took with me something that stayed with me is when my meditation teacher said you are able to change your life at any time you want because you are in control and i was thinking to myself what am i waiting for like i'm eating like sh i'm not taking care of my body i had acne i s was sleeping around 1 a.m 2 a.m and i had 8 a.m classes and I was just waiting for something to motivate me. I would always give the excuse saying, okay, I'll wait tomorrow. I'll do this tomorrow. I'll, I'll start tomorrow. I could just start today. Why, why am I waiting? Because I know damn well I'm not going to start tomorrow. Realistically, I know myself and I know I wasn't going to do that. So first step is recognizing why you are in a slump. You could be in a slump for many reasons. You could be in a slump because of a heartbreak. You could be in a slump because you feel lonely. Yes, that does happen. But it's important you guys try your best because if we are too comfortable in that slump, we're never gonna grow. And that's just not gonna help you out in the future. So once you recognize why you are in a slump, it could be because of a past experience, you can gain something out of that past experience. Because instead of ignoring it, it's gonna come and bite you in the butt later on and then you're gonna go back to that past experience and it's gonna, who knows, it could bring you down. So these are the four things you guys need to realize when you're thinking about that past experience. It is recognition, acceptance, investigation, and non-identification. 
those are the four things you guys need to know of that past experience. For example, if it's a heart, if it's a heartbreak, recognize it, accept it, investigate it a little bit, ask yourself why it ended, how did this person treat me, what do I need, what do what do I do not want in a future relationship. All of that should help you to be mindful of that experience. I got this from a book, actually. The book is The Wise Heart from Jack Cornfield. Okay, number two. This is gonna sound harsh, okay? But I love you and I'm gonna tell you the way it is. You are the reason why you are in a bad place right now. You are the one to blame for that experience. I say this because I know it's so easy to blame many things of why you are in a slump because it is. If someone treated you badly, that's why. If someone cheated on you, that's why I have trust issues. Obviously, yes, those are huge reasons why you do have all these things, right? But why did that lead you in a bad place? Why did you let yourself get to that bad place? And why aren't you trying to get out of that bad place? Because you clicked on this video because you know you are in a slump. You know you are being lazy. You know you're not taking care of yourself. You do know it already. So you, you guys know, you guys are aware of what's going on. And yes, it does sound harsh, but we have to remember that we are in control of our body. We are in control of our life. And it's not easy to say that it's my fault because it's obviously not your fault. I'm going to give an example. It was easy for me to blame my depression on my past relationship. Like, oh, he's the reason why I got here. He's the reason why. He's the reason why. Like, okay, baby, but well, why are you? Why am I not even trying to live a good life? Why am I just blaming this experience on that person? And why am I not trying to get out of that bad place? Why am I just stuck? Like, why do I choose to be here? I do not like being here. And Yes, your mom, your best friend, your dad, your uncle, your auntie could be there for you and they can give you all this advice, but who's the one that's actually going to take it? You. You are. This, this is why I, I always tell my friends, this is your world and I'm just living in it. Because, true, she could choose whatever the hell she wants to do. She's, she is in control of her own life. If she wants to suffer, and be with that dweeb, she could be with that dweeb, her choice, but she gonna suffer. But she could take my advice, she could take help, and she can grow, you know? Cause I'm not brushing her teeth for her, I'm not wiping her butt, you know? She does that all by herself, so I think, I guess you guys know what I'm trying to say. So it's really up to you, and it's always gonna be up to you to take that help or not. Next, sleeping habits. This one could be tricky because, like I said, late nights around it happened. But everyone should at least get eight hours of sleep. If you guys have free time during the day, you're choosing to go on your phone or take a nap during that free time, which yes, everyone deserves rest, you could be doing homework or you could be starting a paragraph in an essay or finishing a page. Because sometimes we procrastinate, this is where it comes back again, and we do all of that last minute because we feel like we work better under pressure which yeah but we need to get out of that cycle because we need our sleep for example I have 8 a.m. classes I worked under pressure slept around two had not even my eight hours of sleep and I would go to class tired I would try my best to stay awake in my classes you don't want to try to stay awake for those classes you want to be focused okay do your work in time. Trust me, your phone's always gonna be there. Social media is always gonna be there. Something new is always happening on that. If you finish or do some of your, some of your work, just think of it as one more hour of sleep time or free time. Don't scroll on it for an hour or two hours because you know that leads to just being stuck on your phone. I'm not gonna tell you that you need to eat all these healthy foods. I'm not gonna tell you, you need to have the ideal body to feel good about yourself. I'm not gonna tell you that. That's the stuff you can search up on YouTube right now and it's gonna tell you that, because that's what social media is gonna tell you. The main things I'm gonna tell you is fix your eating habits, 
fix your sleeping habits, learn how to be independent, and make personal goals for yourself. Everyone has their own personal goals. If those personal goals of, um, are what I just said earlier, that's good. So those are your own personal goals. I have my own, like this channel. See? So for your eating habits, I just started eating salads this like last month. I'm not saying that you need to eat salads. I'm just letting you know guys that I just started eating salads. I did not eat anything green. I did not eat anything with vegetables. Guys, I grew up with sloppy burgers, hot dogs. I love junk food. I'm a junkie. I love it. I love, love, love. And I stress eat. I cannot be hungry, but I want to eat everything I see. It causes a lot of health problems, and we do not want that for you guys. And I also was in high school. I ate, like, poop. Let me tell you my addiction. Some of you guys probably already know if you guys watch my channel and you guys personally know me. I eat... I, I'm... I'm a sucker for chips, hot chips specifically. I'm addicted, not a joke. I'm actually addicted. At school, I would eat it three times a day and drown it in chamoy like it's soup. This sounds disgusting now looking back at it. I used to sometimes drink the chamoy with a straw, like if it was water. This would cause me to take a lot of restroom breaks my stomach will hurt constantly i will be laying down on the bathroom floor thinking i was gonna die and i'm so surprised my appendix did not pop yet i brought that with me in college you i have a one card where i could just get a bunch of snacks because it's like it's money there's money in there it's a real card but i just can't see it so i'm just buying everything you know i began eating healthy not just salads i had acai bowl, avocado toast, yeah. I was going less on the grease, but I would sometimes get a little burger here and there, but I limited myself, important. But you guys know your own. If you guys eat healthy, props to you. I wish that was you, I wish I knew better. If you guys relate to me a little bit, I recommend and I encourage you guys to start taking care of yourself. When I um, was eating healthy, sorry, I noticed that my skin looked different my body looked different as well and you just feel I felt clean I didn't feel like I needed to constantly use the restroom every five minutes or my stomach wasn't hurting I woke up peacefully I woke up fine next it's a big one being independent let me tell you this is so important keep in mind you could be independent and still be in a relationship you can still feel loved. That's okay. But enjoy, learn how to love being alone. This was hard for me to accept because I felt like I've always depended on people to be happy. And whenever I finished hanging out with my friends, I would come back home and be like, okay, back to being lazy, what, what to do now? I would just question like, okay, like my friends are gone, I'm bored, whatever. This is gonna sound corny. People come and go. That is so true. Sometimes people are put in your life for lessons. I just watched um, Riverdale. <laughs> it's gonna sound corny. But Jughead at the end, he said, you say hello, you walk with that person for a while, and then maybe you say goodbye. Bye for that corny little quote. But it's true. Everyone is not guaranteed to be with you forever. And the ones that do stay there for a long time are your true, are the true ones, are the real ones, you know? So when I saw people leave my life, it impacted my life neg negatively. Sorry, it took me a while to say that. Because I was always um, saying, I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone, okay? And what? You're alone. Enjoy being alone, it's so true. Enjoy being alone. When you're alone, use that experience and get to know yourself better. Get to know what you like, get to know what you don't like, get to know what you deserve in a person, what you don't deserve. Find your voice, learn how to speak for yourself so many factors come into being independent you can grow from that because if you just go from one person to one person to one person and when those people leave you and you're actually alone alone you're gonna be in a bad place and we're not trying to get you in that bad place because the next time someone leaves you you're gonna be fine 
because you could be alone. You're able to do that. Because you forever have yourself. Forever. One thing in mind, if you guys are in a, in a relationship, remember to have personal goals for yourself. Okay? This is important because if you guys just make goals with each other, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? Obviously, you're not predicting that person's going to leave. But if they do, those goals are just... But instead, if that person does leave, you still have personal goals to look towards, too. And while you're in that relationship, you could always support that person to reach their goals. And that person should support you to reach your own goals. Also, it's, that's going to be so much healthier because you could let them have their own time. The same way you want your own time. You know what I'm trying to say? Let's not be toxic. That generation was so stupid. Toxic, toxic is the worst trend ever. People are always like, I need me a toxic I need me a toxic No, you don't. Why do you want that? Why do you? <laughs> Never, guys. Ever. I learned my lesson. It wasn't good. It wasn't a good lesson. One thing I do recommend is you guys can make a list of a weekly goal, a month goal, and a year goal. But if you set a goal and you accomplish it, it's this feeling that makes you feel so accomplished that you can do anything. Like ever since I made my channel, I was like, okay, I did it. So what's next? It makes you want to look forward to do more things. Because I've been contemplating on this channel for years. Years. All it took for me to do was just make the damn channel. So yes, this video was very much different from my other videos, but I really encourage you guys to take this advice. Like I said, it's up to you. You guys do not have to listen to me, but I encourage you guys to, and I really hope it did help you. It, these are things that helped me, and since I've been doing these steps, I've been feeling so much better about myself. I go to class feeling confident. I feel so achieved. When you feel achieved, you feel like you can conquer anything and that's how you should feel. You are allowed to feel happy. You are allowed to live a coherent life if you choose to do it. We gotta get out of this lazy era, okay? Come on, we could conquer the world. It's time we live happy lives. It's time. It's okay to feel happy. I was always in this place where like, why am I so happy? Why is life going good? Because that's how it should be, okay? And that's how it should always be. If you guys are just feeling unmotivated, I hope this motivated you. If you guys just clicked on this video because you like to watch my videos, then I'm here for you. You guys have my Instagram. Text me. We're friends. Like I said, we're like this. We're like this, okay? I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for some more content. Love you guys. Bye.